Hi, second graders. I am here with another second grader. And he chose another one of his favorite picture books for this week. And I think that this book, I'm not sure a lot of people know about this book. This was from your grandma. I chose that one because we don't have that much picture books. Yeah. So this is called Scuttle's Big Wish. Okay. There's Scuttle. Um, maybe predict what he likes so much. Here we go. First sentence. Scuttle loved cheese. He liked other things too. His little mouse hole, his cozy straw bed, and of course, his best friend Tweet. But cheese is what he loved most. Getting cheese was not easy. There were mouse traps and other dangers all along the way. Worst of all, there was pounce cap. Luckily, Scuttle was really fast and always managed to scurry home safely. One day, Scuttle heard a faint cry, help, help. He peeped outside. A golden beetle was trapped in a spider's web. So Scuttle scampered up the sticky web and freed the beetle. Thank you, said the golden beetle. I am in your debt. I will grant you any wish. I wish, said Scuttle, that everything I touched turned to cheese. Cheese it is, buzzed the beetle. That night, Scuttle forgot all about his silly wish. But the next morning, Scuttle woke up to find his bed had turned to, you guessed it, cheese. Cheese! As soon as his feet touched the floor, it turned to cheese. Everything he touched turned to cheese. Cheese! Was he dreaming? Then he remembered the beetle. Somehow his wish had really come true. Scuttle started to touch and eat everything in sight. He ate and ate and ate and ate. Really fat there. I think he ate too much. And ate and ate and ate. Everything was cheese. Soon, Scuttle was very full and very thirsty. He waddled up to Pounce's bowl for a drink. But when his tongue touched the milk, it turned to cheese. Uh-oh, Scuttle squeaked. How will I ever drink again? What's going on here? Pounce hissed from behind him. This picture's kind of cool. You can see it's from inside the cat's mouth. Scuttle turned to run, but he couldn't run fast anymore. He couldn't run at all. Pounce sniffed at him suspiciously. He came closer and closer until one of his whiskers brushed against Scuttle. And then Pounce turned to... Cheese! Tweet. Flew down to see what was going on. No, Tweet, no, Scuttle squeaked. Stay away from me. But it was too late. And Tweet turned to cheese. Scuttle was miserable. His wish had come true, but it wasn't so wonderful after all. What have I done? He cried. Take back my wish, Golden Beetle. Oh, please take it back. Scuttle heard a soft buzzing. The beetle flew into the room and suddenly everything changed back. Oh, Tweet, you're back. He did hear me after all. Thank you, Golden Beetle. Scuttle told Tweet the whole story. They both agreed that you have to be careful what you wish for. For the first time, Scuttle realized how beautiful the world was, even if it's not made of cheese. He was very happy that everything was back to normal. Yeah, be careful what you wish for, right? Yeah. Uh, 
All right. Well, almost everything. Do not think that that's back to normal, right? All right, friends. Thank you for joining us for Mason's read aloud pick for this week. We'll see you soon.